I would say the biggest challenge of being a college student is time management because you're trying to balance work and family and friends and all of life's commitments with now this new commitment, which is college and your classes, and they demand a lot of time. So if there was any time in your life to start incorporating some time management tips and tricks, now would probably be the time. So do any of these sound familiar? So I always end up cramming, or I try to just sit down and study, but I get distracted. Or this is probably me, I'm working on one project, but then I get distracted of all the other little projects that I have going on. So if any of these sound familiar, hopefully in this video, you're going to you're gonna hear some kind of tip or trick that maybe you can go ahead and start incorporating in your classes now. Can't make a video about time management without at least mentioning this. I think this is common sense, but in this day and age, the number one tip for time management is going to be to eliminate those distractions. I would encourage you if you're writing a big paper or you're studying for a big exam, maybe it's best to just give your phone to somebody else and say, hey, I need you to take this for a little while because I really need to dedicate this time to this paper or to studying. Or maybe you put one of those apps on your phone where you can block social media for a little while. That way you can really focus on that assignment. If you do not have a calendar system, right now is the time to start incorporating one because you cannot juggle four, five, six classes and try to keep those deadlines in your head. You need to write them down or at least put them in your phone calendar either way. I prefer a written calendar. Now is the time to really start organizing those deadlines and those due dates because at the beginning of the semester, usually your instructor will go ahead and let you know when things are going to be due. Now, if you're not a calendar person, maybe you're a checklist person. So just get you a blank notebook, a small notebook, keep yourself a checklist of all the things coming up that you need to do and prioritize those things. So if there are immediate needs, make that, you know, column A and then column B are things that you'll work on next. And then column C maybe are those long-term things. If you need a method of prioritizing, there's something called the Eisenhower matrix is where you categorize things as either urgent or non-urgent and in the other the vertical column here you have or the vertical row here you have important and non-important and that is really going to help you you know plan for things you need to do now things you need to schedule maybe things you need to delegate to somebody else and if it's not important and it's not urgent those are things that you can just take off your to-do list Establish routines, especially as a college student. Now is the time to get into a routine. If there's nothing else you take away from this video, this is going to be the biggest one. If you're taking online classes, you need to make online classes a part of your routine just like you would seated classes. Those due dates are really going to sneak up on you when it comes to online classes. Schedule those online classes just like you would a seated class. Maybe you have a lunch break on Mondays and Wednesdays from 11 to 1230. Well, that is your time to work on this particular online class. Or maybe, you know, Thursday nights are your nights to work on your biology class or Friday nights are your nights to work on your chemistry class, whatever the case may be. Put it as part of your weekly routine. Make sure it's not if the due date is Sunday at midnight, Sunday at 11 p.m. is not the time you put it as part of your routine. Put it during the week as a time you're going to dedicate to those online classes. If you are struggling with like a paper, for example, you're writing this five, ten page paper, it is exhausting to try to just sit down and crank out a paper. Or if you're studying for like a math exam, it is exhausting to sit there for two hours and just study straight. Just like it is with exercise, this technique works really well when it comes to studying or writing papers. It's the Pomodoro technique where you set a timer for, you know, 20 minutes or 25 minutes and you just go hard. Like I'm going to write this paper for a solid 20 minutes, but then you give yourself a five minute break. Again, you've got to set a timer though or time's going to sneak away and you're going to be spending a break for 45 minutes or an hour. Set a timer, five minutes, go do something fun, and then come back to it. Our brains love to work that way rather than, you know, studying math for two hours straight. Schedule rewards for yourself during that time. You know, if you've gone hard for 20 minutes writing that paper, go for a walk. Take that five-minute break. If you're like me, you sneak the chocolate out of your desk drawer and you're like, good job. Whatever you need to do, give yourself some motivation to study. Give yourself some motivation to write that paper. 
have an accountability partner get to know the people in your classes and make them your accountability partner say like hey we're gonna go write this paper we're gonna finish it today if you have that other person that's relying on you that other person that's consistent you're probably you're gonna go write the paper because you don't want to go let them down it's just like with exercise if you have somebody that you're exercising with you don't want to let them down by not going to the gym that day so you don't want to let this partner down by not writing your paper that day or not studying with them that day so it's really great to have an accountability partner if you need some time management resources there are a bunch of apps out there that could really help you to do lists to keep things organized any do is kind of the same thing it keeps your tasks organized on a calendar i studies pro is specifically for students to manage classes assignments and grades if you need a fun approach you know to time management there are a bunch of different apps that can make it kind of a gamified approach to stay focused so forest is an example of one Pomodoro is made after that pomodoro technique that i just talked about that's one you can download on your phone and then trello is a fun way to organize visually with boards list and cards for organizing your task now going hand in hand with time management is stress management most of the time college students get stressed because they have poor time management and that goes for all of us it's not just for any one person in particular we're all going to get stressed at some point the main thing to remember here is stress is your reaction to something it could be either positive or negative we determine ourselves how we're going to react to that situation so an event that might be exciting or pleasurable to one person could be put painfully stressful to another person some typical causes of stress again time management's a big one maybe a job change money problems eating or sleeping habits that's a big one for college students the expectations we put on ourselves are big for college students what can stress do to you it can really mess with your body so everything from your brains your nerves your stomach it's really important to try to manage your stress as a college student so it does not go on to affect you physically so with that being said what are some tips and tricks and things that we could use to reduce stress the first and foremost again if there was one takeaway that you're going to take away from the stress management piece of it is you have to change your mindset our greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over the other so how you approach a situation is really going to help you in terms of your stress management there's something called the four a's to helping with stress so i'm going to touch on those i'm not going to read everything on this slide but i do want to touch on them hopefully there's something you can take away here avoiding stress if we can the biggest takeaway there is learning to say no you're going to have a lot of responsibilities and demands as a college student at some point you're going to have to say no to something whether it be something in one of your classes or whether it be like hanging out with your friends or going to the gym whatever the case may be prioritize your life prioritize what you find to be important and you got to ditch part of your list learn to say no to things altering mindsets communicating your feelings openly state limits in advance if you have something big coming up and you have a friend or family member that's asking you to do something state those limits in advance this is how much time i can give you before i have to go do i got to go study for my exam accept things that you can't change if an instructor tells you you know what i can't accept this paper my policy is that i do not accept late work you have a choice at that point you can either accept the thing that you can't change or you can let it stress you out get frustrated and it start affecting you physically and mentally accept it i'm going to do something different in the future i'm not going to turn this in late next time and then move on learn from your mistakes and then finally adapting sometimes you're going to need to adjust your standards i know i of course of course i shoot for a's shoot for b's some classes shoot for c's you do the very best that you can you adjust your standards and you move on reframe the issue look at it from a big picture perspective is this going to affect me 10 months from now is it going to affect me 10 years from now probably the answer is going to be no so sometimes you have to look at it in the big picture of thing is this one grade on this one assignment going to affect me the rest of my life the answer is probably going to be no 
And then finally, come up with some fun ways to reduce stress as a college student. Whatever works for you, whether it be music, look at where we live, go outside for a little while, go take a walk, perform some random act of kindness, find fun ways in college to take a break from the mental load of it, go have fun, reduce stress.